Hey folks, let's talk EDC belt set up for a beginner. Since I was there not that long ago, it can be quite a daunting task. What EDC gun belt do you need? If you're just gonna go to the range and shoot just to practice because your, your whole deal with owning a gun is self-defense or protecting your home if you have a family and children, uh, maybe you invested in a gun just to protect your home. And uh, so with that, you need to go to the range, you need to do some actual shooting. You can't just do dry fire at home. No matter how cool the tools are getting these days, you have to go to a range, you have to shoot. So you're probably gonna want to buy an EDC belt because you will want to practice handling the gun, manipulating, manipulating your gun, drawing from a holster because you might have to do that. Um, and uh, you'll need a EDC belt, or you might be an experienced shooter, you might conceal and carry, or you might want to conceal and carry one day now that you own a gun. So either way, you're gonna want an EDC gun belt, you're gonna want a belt that can hold your everyday essentials, it can hold your gun, it's strong, it's durable, it's rigid, it's stiff, not too stiff to where it's uncomfortable, and I think over the years, I have, I've stuck to really two brands and now uh, me and my partner who uh, has been in this world for a long time, we have our own brand, we have our own company, we develop and, uh, and, and have our own EDC gun belts. So I'm also going to be sharing that along with these since I, that's all I wear now. Um, so EDC gun belt setup, really you just want a belt that is... Um, you can go leather or nylon. I prefer nylon. I just I just think it lasts longer. Uh, I just like how it looks. It's aesthetically more pleasing to me than leather. Just not a big leather belt kind of guy. So as you can see, all these, well, not all of them. Most of them are nylon. I do have one leather there uh, from Next Belt. It's nice. I just, just don't like leather, so I don't really wear it. And I've got on my own. Uh, second amen uh, and it's nylon so smooth nylon so first thing to identify is leather or nylon I'm focusing on nylon I'm gonna show you a few belts um, obviously I'm gonna be biased towards my own because we developed it I developed it with my partner based on what I learned from other belts so uh, let's let's actually go let's get rid of, there's the leather next belt let's let's just get rid of that one shall we uh, quite a great company, quality belt. I just don't like leather. So, all of these belts, you will. Uh, I've got Next Belt, I've got Core Essentials, and I've got Second Amen. Now, you'll see all of them, just like how I'm handling them, wobbling them around. They're all stiff, they're all rigid, they're all very strong, they're all capable of holding tools, heavy duty tools, guns, firearms, magazines all of that good stuff. Now there is a point where it can get too stiff, too rigid, in my opinion. And I found that to be with the core essentials. All of these are ratchet style belts. I just think they're the best because where you set it, it at the start of the day is where it finishes at the end of the day. So you'll be able to hear this clicking motion. Super easy to fit. You basically cut them all to your size. Most of them have some sort of screw function to uh, just reinforce the belt into the buckle. Most of them have around anywhere from 30 to 45 track positions. So you'll be able to find the right size for you. Now, Core Essentials, in my opinion, they're too, they're too thick and they're too stiff. So they're very uncomfortable. So if you sit down in the, if you get in your truck, you get in your car, you sit down, it digs into your sides. Like I'm not, I, I exercise, I'm not like, well, I could be in better shape, but I'm not, I'm not overweight. I don't have much of a belly and it digs into my sides and my belly. So uh, that's why this one is, is now ruled out for me. Don't get me wrong. This is, this is never folding over. This, this will hold everything. It's very strong, very stiff, very rigid. I think it's a thousand denier. So like, that's intense. So if I was going into battle and I was carrying 
um, juice, uh, AR mags, uh, pistol mags, my actual pistol, uh, knives, took all of this stuff, and I was going into battle for war, then I might consider call because of how heavy duty it is. Uh, so that's that's core. And now next belt where they for next belt and second day men, I'm gonna say is more of a focus on concealed carry, blending in with your everyday style, cool uh, type of belt. And this is the next belt. Again, you'll see very stiff, very rigid. Gonna hold all your guns. It would probably hold almost the same as this. But these are, I think, 900 denier, uh, the next belts. So very stiff, very rigid. So maybe 800, 900 denier. Again, track positions. These actually, this is the appendix carry. So they have a push button to release it function. <coughs> and let's get on to the second amen. A uh, little uh, switch up to release it. Track positions, 32 different track positions, two screws. This is actually 600, it, we state 600 denier. It's like more like between 600 and 650 denier. So it is strong, sturdy. It will carry any gun. It will carry multiple magazines. It will carry a ton of stuff, knives, multi-tools, phone, everything. And it blends in. It's a smooth nylon. We do have a more tactical style. But this is... Um, uh, solid belt it's going to carry what you need but it's it's not as high of a denier so it's much more comfortable we got tan and we got black i'm wearing the tan i'm just a fan of the tan as you can see that's my pistol belt. so let's get into the setup of your belt which if you're a beginner you're going to do one thing you're going to have your holster your firearm you're going to have your belt your holster whether it's outside the waistband or inside the waistband and you're going to have your gun in it that's it you're if you're if you're new, you're a beginner. You're not gonna carry. Uh, you're not gonna have a a magazine holder to reload. You you're probably just not gonna have one. Will I'll do another belt setup where it's more like competitive shooting, uh, more tactical style. So you're gonna have a few more things on there. But that's for a bit, bit more of an experienced shooter. Not super experienced, just a little bit more than a beginner. A beginner wants a belt that's good enough, a holster, and the gun on it. And you want to see that and that's it so let's uh let's go ahead and set up <clears throat> so let's do outside the west man first so i'm a i'm a preferred fan of outside the waistband i hate inside the waistband so if i was going to conceal and carry i would carry on the outside i wouldn't and i just have a jacket or something i wouldn't put it on the inside i just don't like it it feels so uncomfortable so you can see, in fact, let's put a, um, this has just got a dummy rounds in. Um, so we want actually to load or anything. So just to, just to add to the weight. So this is in. You can see, this is, this is the second day man belt. It is, the holster is on, it's not going nowhere. Let's get closer. Strong enough. This is nine millimeter Smith and Wesson, so most people are going to carry nine millimeters if it's home defense, um, self defense. Probably going to carry. It's a pretty good weight. Look at the belt. The belt is fine. It's perfect. So that is outside the waistband. This is just a simple uh, gun and flower holster. All right, now for the one that I can't stand. This might be a setup for you if you prefer to be inside the waistband. Um, so, there we go. Inside the waistband. Again, you can see the belt can handle it perfectly. It's not bending, it's not too loose. If this was on you, this is fine. So there we go. So basic, basic belt setup, EPC gun belt setup for a beginner, newbie, who's only gonna have a, a gun and the belt. 
That's all you're gonna have. You're gonna load the magazine. You're gonna load the gun with the magazine straight away. What I would stay away from. Now the, these are our brand, but if you if the purpose is for everyday carry and you're gonna have a firearm, if you're gonna have a gun, or you're gonna go to you're gonna you're gonna go to a range, you're gonna have a gun. Then um, I would stay away from these um, these sort of rigor TDU belts um, because they they'll fold they fold over easily, so they're much softer. These are like uh, three hundred denier. If you have like a 22, or just, if you have any small gun, it would suffice, it would be fine, but it's not gonna be very sturdy or strong. You can see how easily these bend, right? And that's the reason these belts are, you know, 15 bucks. Uh, you can find them as cheap as like 12, $13. I'd go a little bit more expensive, just so you know, you, just so you know you're getting good stuff, good quality buckles, good metal. Um, good d rings if they do have them not all of them have them ours are between 15 and 20 bucks they're, they're, they're great for a small gun uh great for if you're just carrying like a knife or something small and lightweight the tdu rigger belts are good however um wouldn't if you're going to carry a gun or anything a little heavier i just i wouldn't use these not a great option so that's them. Stick, stick with this one. And, uh, and that's it, that's all you need. There's a range bag, we'll do a range bag set up for a beginner shortly, but you're gonna have your belt. I'm gonna have my outside the waistband holster and my gun. Beginner EDC gun belt set up right there. Thanks for watching. I'm going to be doing a bunch of videos as I go from novice all the way to hopefully an expert. I'm going to do setups along the whole way as I evolve, as I grow, as I improve in my skill set and as I add more gear and more equipment, my gear setups are going to change. I'm going to share it all. I'm going to share the whole journey. Uh, you can catch me on my podcast. I podcast every day sharing uh, things, as, things as silly as what's a QD mount. <laughs> so just because... I'm asking them questions. I did ask these questions. So I'm sure other people are going to ask them too. But thanks for watching. Do me a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Uh, write some comments. I, if you're an expert or you, if you're well versed in this industry, guns, shooting, EDC, uh, write some comments. Share with me what you know, what you would prefer, what I should add to this, what I shouldn't add to this, what I should have, what I shouldn't have, your preferences. I, I, this, is, this is a space of learning. So... I, I'd appreciate the communication. I'd appreciate the input from other people. That's all from me. Thanks for joining again. I'll see you in another video.